Okay. And the Jaguars are visiting the Colts this weekend. Uh, Colts, you know, being at home, favored by three points. This one could go either way, but what are you feeling about it, Gabe? You know, this is a really, really tricky game in the sense is, you know, a lot of people think Jacksonville are going to show up. Jacksonville season is on the line right now. You know, they're going to um, they're going to turn on, you know, flick the switch, uh, so, to, so to speak. Sometimes you can turn, uh, you know, turn the lights on, but there's no light bulb uh, plugged in. I'm not sure right now, and pardon the pun, if there's a light bulb uh, plugged in with Blake Bortles. You know, the Jags had a great year last year. Great defense, but they weren't nearly as good as a lot of people said that they were, or at least that Jalen Ramsey was telling people uh, that they were. Last year, Andrew Luck didn't play. Last year, Deshaun Watson got hurt early in the season. Last year, the Jacksonville Jaguars were playing an extremely weakened AFC uh, South, and they talked a lot. Now the AFC South is starting to get stronger once again. And You know, while it's not reflective in a one-loss record, the Indianapolis Colts are going in the right direction. To me, I just think it's, an, you know, to me it's a success this year for the Colts if Andrew Luck can get through the year healthy. And then they have something to build on in Frank Reich's uh, second year. They've done a nice job by drafting. Uh, they're changing the culture and the dynamic of the type of players that they draft the Indianapolis Colts. They're a more physical team than they have been in past years. Their offensive line still isn't great, but it, it's better. I'm going to take Andrew Luck at home in this spot. I, lo- I love taking the Indianapolis Colts when they're underdogs. And Andrew Luck is one of the best ATS quarterbacks in the National Football League, all right? Um, especially when he's coming off of a loss. But at home here, with the, the Colts getting healthier as the season progresses, I think they can outscore the Jacksonville Jaguars. I think the Jaguars' defense is a little bit um, a little bit stretched out right now because the offense has been in and out. I'm aware about Leonard Fournette being back, but sign me up for the Indianapolis Colts to win a higher-scoring football game. I, you know, I think the, the over and the Colts are in play here. Was last year an anomaly for Jacksonville? That still remains to be seen, but at least for this weekend, Gabe is leaning toward the Colts. 